guys, my name is Nemesis561, uh, welcome to my channel. It's my unboxing of the Wingman of the Road Toucan. We'll be taking it on some trips, uh, so we'll do an unboxing. And then in the future I'll go over some trips and some waterproofing tips for one of these guys and all that good stuff. So uh, just stick around, it'll be like a little time lapse. I'm going to open up the box, unroll it for the first time check it all out. I'll try and get you guys some close-up footage of what it looks like inside and out. And uh, we'll do a setup and everything. So, uh, size comparison. My waist is 36 inches wide. I'd say this thing's pretty good size right now. They say that they pack it up kind of loose when they ship it and that you can pack it a little tighter. Uh, I was talking to the guy, he said that he's seen people pack them up smaller than the, uh, the goose, uh, but I'm planning on putting my wool blanket and some clothes and stuff inside this when I roll it up. So it'll probably be a little smaller than this if I can get it tight. Uh, but should fit okay on the back of my bike. And when I load the bike up and go through all the bike stuff, I'll uh, show you guys that too. So, but, uh, this is the new model. It's got the uh, clips here and the canvas on the one side door that they don't usually do. Uh, so the newer models all have these new metal buckles and the canvas door on the opposite side. So. So uh, this is the ground cloth here. You can use that like in between the bike and partially under here or just under here. I'm gonna leave it under here for right now. Uh, on that ground cloth, there's a little spot right here. Got guy ropes and uh, tent stakes. And these are the tent poles. Got two loop poles and one straight bar that extends. Get this opened up. This pole has a little bend in it right here, so I'm going to take some pliers and bend that out so that I can put that together. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, I went to bend it back because it was squished a little. Went to bend it back and it chipped out a section about an uh, eighth of an inch. So I took my Dremel and I just gently cut around and then filed it so it's nice and smooth so it won't cut the cord. I was very careful not to cut the cord while I was using my Dremel on that. Uh, and then now it fits, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> tuck back over here so you can see me. In a normal situation, I would assume that Wingman of the Road would uh, honor that under a warranty and they'd probably ship me another one. I'll contact them, talk to them about it. Um, my trips are coming up. It took a month, uh, maybe a month and a couple of weeks to get this here. Uh, they're in London. I'm in Arizona, in the United States. So a long, long process. I know that the tents themselves are on back order. Uh, order and pre-order and then they fill the order the next month uh, so 
took four days of shipping. Uh, I don't know if they have one of these poles laying around, nor am I going to chance it, so I just fixed the one I have. Contact them, let them know what happened. If they want to ship me another pole, they can. I'm sure if it was broken, like completely broken, or you were in a situation where you couldn't fix it like what I did, I'm sure they'd ship you another pole, no problem. Uh, I've heard they have great warranty stuff. And they were really kind when I talked to them on the phone. So uh, I will contact them, show them that, and um, I'm sure they'll, they'll do something for me. Uh, but I don't have the time to waste. Uh, I need to do a couple practice trips with this and I need to be able to take it on the road when I'm ready to go. And I can't afford to wait if they don't have something ready to go for me. Uh, so, and that's just my own thought process on how I'm going to do it. If, you know, everybody's different. If you have time, you can wait. If you don't have the ingenuity skills to fix it, you can wait too. No big deal. I understand that could be a you know, a big thing for some people, so I just wanted to throw it in there. That, that, that is what happened. Uh, it did take, like I said, a little more than a month. Uh, I ordered this on March 15th, and I received it this morning, which is April 20th. So, uh, again, a little over a month. So, But they were great guys. They talked to me. They told me everything that was going on. When you go to order, it says whether it's a pre-order or not, what month you'll be receiving it in. Uh, but what they don't tell you is uh, what part of that month it'll be shipped out and when you might get it. So, uh, I'm not going to be putting any of the stakes or guy lines on right now because uh, I don't want see taking that eighth of an inch off didn't affect the way the pole works still holds it nice and tight this is the side that the bike wouldn't go to and this is the, uh, the tarp it'll tie up to the bike this is the new canvas it's a little thinner than the regular canvas That's the one window. That's the other window. A little pocket here. Oh, they got. Oh, that's the head end. They got the mattress in here. Weird. I probably want that towards my head, but I'm gonna take all that out anyways. Uh, it's a sleeping bag. It's actually pretty thick. Um, more to it than I thought there was for just the, the actual bag. So. I'd say that's that's probably good for, I don't know, Arizona camping for sure. <laughs> uh, if it got cold, that's why I think I'm gonna throw the wool blanket in here. I think it'll, it'll be more than enough. your mattress pad at about an inch, three quarters of an inch thick foam. That's 
not bad. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how that is. Very nice. Let these pull out. It kind of helps to strengthen it up a little more. Uh, underneath here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a hook. You hook your helmet on there. All right, so uh, yeah, that's the uh, wingman of the road, the toucan. They call it the toucan because toucan uh, it's supposed to be made for two people. Um, I'm guessing two small people that sleep in there like spooning, be okay. Uh, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm 5'10", 260 pounds, so I'm going to use every bit of that. Uh, and I roll around a lot when I sleep, <laughs> so uh, that's why I decided to go with the bigger one. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. There's not a lot of videos on these things, uh, so I'm going to put this one to use uh, a lot, so put it through the test. Arizona is the test, man. You put this thing in some heat and some sun, you find out if the canvas is worth it or not. So I'll uh, keep you guys informed, let you see it when it's uh, on the bike when I load it up. Uh, I'll also do a couple of videos of me spraying this thing down to waterproof it. Uh, yeah. All right.